In our Facebook group, I'd asked what screencast tutorial you want to see next. Top comment, Metafields. Signing icons with Metafields. Uh, a few others, Metafields, Metafields, Meta Objects, Metafields. The theme here, clearly Metafields. And so that's what we're going to dive into today. I'm going to show you how to add a Metafield to a product page using Online Store 2.0 theme. The steps are add the definition, add the value, and then connect it to your theme. So those are three steps. We are gonna work in Abstract Ocean. It's a client store. We just launched this. This is Focal Theme that's been customized. It's Online Store 2.0. And so they have to put notes on products to say like, hey, this may or may not fit for these reasons. And what if we had an easier way to do that? Well, it's a perfect job for meta fields. And so step one, Shopify says, you gotta define the meta field. That's how you initially add the meta field. Step two, add the content. Step three, connect it to somewhere. In your store, go to settings. Once you're in settings, click custom data. And then in this case, um, we're gonna do products, but the meta fields are per content type. So they've got them for product, variant, blogs, pages, customers, etc. Most of the time, your meta fields are gonna be products, most likely. And here we go. They already have some meta fields in there, but we're gonna add a definition. And you wanna give it a descriptive name because you're gonna see this on the front end of your store or in the, the product listing rather. So we're gonna say uh, name, we're gonna call it Fitment Notes. And they have predefined ones, which is cool, but we're just gonna go with Fitment Notes. And the namespace, uh, it names this automatically. So we leave that alone. As long as this is not redundant with something else, it's fine. And then description, Again, this is just for you or staff to remind you what goes in here later. And often it's good to like try and define how it looks. You know, like for this, I might say, um, fitment notes, text only, less than 120 characters. And then we're gonna select our type and there's single line text. That's probably what we'll use here. Multi-line text. Um, so single line text, one, one line, multi-line text, such a paragraph input, uh, integer decimal product. You can link to a product, define a product file. You can attach a, a video or a photo. And then they have some others that are predefined and nice using the one that closest matches what you're doing is going to keep you from screwing this up. Like rich text adds some styling so you can add formatting. Then maybe that's the one we want to use. You know what? We'll do rich text. I've never even used this one. We'll try it. Uh, so there we go. And I'm going to leave these blank. Definition unpinned means it will not appear on the product page. It defaults to pinned. There's a, there's a limit to how many you could pin total. Um, but here we're going to leave it as pinned. So save. Okay. That's step one done. Step two, it tells us here there's zero products. Oh my gosh. So now we got to go add this to some products. So this is what I want to put in. So we're gonna find this product. I guess I'll, I'll search by the handle. If you press F, it brings up the search. And there it is. It's this guy, right? Yep, that's the one. And so now when we scroll down to the bottom of the product listing, it says meta fields. The fields that appear here are the ones that are marked pinned. Definition pinned appear here. And fitment notes is the most recent one we, we created and pinned, and so that's at the top. And when I click it, there you can see it tells me the type, gives me that definition, and if I need to update it, I can even go to the definition and change it. And so I'm gonna go to the product, and this is what I want. So I'm just gonna copy that. I'll paste it, and there it keeps it in there. And because I chose rich text instead of just text, that's why I get to keep the bold and I get these formatting options. So there we go. Click away. It's got it in there. Now I'm going to click save. And if we scroll down, there you can see it's on there. Very nice. But if I go to the page and refresh it, it's not there because we haven't told it yet. And so that's step two is now done. Populate the meta field. Step one, create the meta, define the meta field. Step two, populate the meta field with content. And then step three is connect it. And so to connect it, we're gonna go in our online store and we're gonna say customize. 
And now I want to go find that product. Jumping forward a little bit, once we're looking at the product in the theme editor, we want to do step three, connect our new dynamic source or new meta field into this theme. And with online store 2.0 themes in the sidebar, you get sections and blocks. And so you can grab, uh, drag and drop, rearrange various elements on the page, and you can add new ones from apps, uh, some arbitrary sections, or um, meta fields through dynamic sources. All right, that sounds fancier than it is. Check this out. I'm going to say add block. They give me a whole bunch here. The one I want is text. And the way uh, these dynamic sources will set up, it'll help you uh, try and keep you from screwing it up. So if I say custom liquid and I click connect dynamic source, no compatible fields. So there is some error checking here. Let's click remove block, get rid of that one. We're going to add this block. And we're adding rich text, so I'm going to go with text is my best guess here. Insert dynamic source. So if you want, you can see this like, I could say, you know, test, test, test. And where does that pop up on here? Test, test, test appears right down there. Cool. But, you know, maybe we want to put it higher up so people don't miss it. There we can see it says test, test, test. Oh, I want it even higher than that. I want it like part of this fitment data. Okay. So now we got our placement right. We're going to say insert dynamic source. And where is it? So here it's giving us the elements it's got on the page and the meta fields. And the one we want is right down here with rich text compatibility or fitment notes. Fitment notes, I think. There we go. It worked. That was the one we made. Compatibility note. Tesla has Tesla's changed the rear screen to have a smaller bezel. Roughly on delivery. Sits to set. Okay. So there. Our new compatibility note has now popped in there. Excellent day. And so let's save that. And now, if we go find this guy on the front of the uh, store, it should be there. Is it this one? I hope I got this page right. Oh, yes, refresh. And sure enough, there it is. Appears on the page. Now, if I go to a different product, it's not going to be there because it doesn't have uh, a meta field set there. And so... Let me find a different product. And we go to this one. And here, this product doesn't have those meta fields filled out. And so that um, those sections don't appear here. But if we were to go in the back end, update those meta fields, they would start appearing here. So it works very nicely. Makes it really convenient once you've set it up once, which you know, takes five to 10 minutes. Um, now you have this custom field defined on the product page where you just quickly add those notes. And that's, as a content management system, that is a big leap forward for Shopify, something we really welcomed and enjoyed, and it's helped us a lot. So I hope that, hope that was helpful. And if you want to stay up to date on these, oh my gosh, head to kurtelster.com. That's me. Sign up for my newsletter, stick your email in there, and every Tuesday I send a weekly newsletter with uh, content and updates about Shopify.